Hi, so chemotherapy uses cytotoxic drugs to destroy cancer cells, and cytotoxic means toxic to cells. Sometimes chemotherapy is used alone to treat some types of cancer, but often it's used with other treatments such as surgery or radiotherapy. And different drugs affect cancer cells in different ways. So sometimes a combination of different chemotherapy drugs can be used as each drug is chosen for its different effects. So chemotherapy drugs are classified in one of two ways, by their cell cycle effects or by their biochemical properties. And those in the same biochemical class have a similar mechanism of action. So in other words, some drugs kill dividing cells by damaging the part of the cell's control center that makes it divide. Other drugs interrupt the chemical processes involved in cell division. So basically, chemotherapy damages cells as they divide. So chemotherapy kills cells that are in the process of splitting into two new cells. And because cancer cells divide much more often than most normal cells, chemotherapy is much more likely to kill them. Knowing how the drug works is really important in predicting side effects from it. This helps doctors decide which drugs are likely to work well together. So we've got alkylating agents, and alkylating agents keep the cell from reproducing by damaging its DNA. These drugs work in all phases of the cell cycle and are used to treat many different cancers, including cancers of the lung, breast, ovaries, as well as leukemia, lymphoma, Hodgkin's, multiple myeloma, and sarcoma. So drugs such as carmistine and melphalan are examples of alkylating agents. And then we have anti-metabolites, which are drugs that interfere with DNA and RNA growth by substituting for the normal building blocks of RNA and DNA. These agents damage cells during the phase when the cell's chromosomes are being copied. They are commonly used to treat leukemias, cancers of the breast, ovary, and the intestinal tract. Methotrexate is a common anti-metabolite used for cancers such as breast cancer, leukemia, lung cancer, lymphoma, and osteosarcoma. But it can also be used for autoimmune conditions such as rheumatoid arthritis. But even though methotrexate for autoimmune diseases is taken in much lower doses than it is for cancer, side effects such as hair loss, nausea, headaches, and skin pigmentation are still common. And then we have anti-tumor antibiotics, but these drugs are not like the antibiotics used to treat infections. They work by changing the DNA inside cancer cells to keep them from growing and multiplying. Anti-tumor antibiotics such as anthracylines can interfere with enzymes involved in copying DNA during the cell cycle. And then we also have topoisomerase inhibitors, such as etoposide, and these drugs interfere with enzymes, which help separate the strands of DNA so they can be copied. So basically, we're blocking this enzyme, which separates the DNA strands so they can't be copied. And mitotic inhibitors, such as vincristin, are compounds derived from natural products, such as plants. They work by stopping cells from dividing to form new cells, but they can damage cells in all phases by keeping enzymes from making proteins needed for cell reproduction. So all these different mechanisms of action can join forces and really get them cancer cells good. And the fact that chemotherapy drugs kill dividing cells helps to explain why chemotherapy causes side effects. So chemotherapy drugs can't tell the difference between healthy cells that are dividing and cancer cells that are dividing. And this means that normal cells are damaged along with the cancer cells and this causes side effects. So chemo affects healthy body tissues where the cells are constantly growing and dividing such as your hair, which is always growing, your bone marrow, which is constantly producing blood cells, um, your skin and the lining of your digestive system, which are constantly renewing themselves. Um, so this is why people suffer hair loss when going through chemo and why some feel nauseated or have a higher risk of infection. You are at a higher risk of infection as bone marrow is part of your immune system, which protects us from infection and disease. So killing off the cells within your bone marrow isn't the best, but the damage to the healthy cells usually doesn't last, and most side effects disappear once your treatment is over. The cells are only affected as they're dividing, so once you take away the medication, the cells are able to divide again happily. I'd also like to mention that this video was brought to you by Brilliant. Brilliant is an amazing online resource to help you learn new things. And I've just finished school, but I really love learning new things and I love having a really like specific goal of something specific I want to learn and Brilliant has allowed me to continue with that. So if you've always wanted to learn, say, computer science, but you don't even have a scooby of where to start, then you should start with Brilliant as they have a really great introductory course available in computer science, which starts with an introduction to algorithms. So. If that's something you're into, you can check them out by going to brilliant.com forward slash science with Katie, where you can sign up for free. And the guys over at Brilliant are offering 20% off an annual premium subscription to the first 200 people. 
So go check them out. And thank you for watching. Bye.